Hello beautiful and welcome back to my channel and welcome to this week's new makeup releases. We are going to chat about the new makeup that's been released, announced and sneak peeked and I'm going to let you know whether or not I want to pick it up, whether or not I already did and you're going to let me know down in the comments whether or not you're interested in this. And remember, it is okay to disagree, friends do not always agree about makeup and beauty, but friends are always kind and respectful towards each other. And if you haven't been here before, if this is your first video here, hello, my name is Angie, I am such a lover of beauty makeup, I love everything beauty makeup related, especially things that are a little bit more colorful, so if you want to see more of that, don't forget to subscribe because I upload several videos every week. <laughs> And I did film this look. I actually filmed a second look with the Bon Voyage palette. This is the collaboration between Colourpop and BT21. And I used the blue shades plus this one. I like it, but I could have done this look with the Colourpop and Avatar palette. Like this exact look, I could have done with that palette. So if you like blues and you have like, I could have this exact look, I could have done with that palette. I'm just letting you know. I filmed it for Instagram slash TikTok. I have a cat hair in my mustache. <laughs> so it's going to be live there soon, as soon as I can like edit it. I am trying to, I don't want to say I'm trying to cut down, but I'm trying to have a little bit of a break come July, maybe a little bit of beginning of August. So I'm trying to upload one video less a week and we didn't have a video on Thursday, for example. I've also added a new family member and she's sleeping here on the floor next to me if you want to see more of that it's on my community tab either the second to last post or the third to last post i've also updated a bunch on instagram i'm gonna have a video about that come next week okay i'm saying it now i'm gonna have a video coming next week i'm gonna let you know all about like how we found her what's been going on what we named her if we're keeping her all of those things it's gonna be a uh, next week. I'm also having my member exclusive live for tier 2 and tier 3. It's going to be today on Friday 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. If you want to be part of that, if you are part of my membership, I do have a membership. It's down here in the description box or in the button next to my subscription button. It's going to be a live for tier 2 and tier 3 and that is today 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. If you are counting on YouTube to send out notifications, YouTube usually misses that. They're not doing good with notifications when it comes to member exclusive things. So if you're a member of my channel, if you're a happy clown, do set your alarm or check your check your watch because usually YouTube is not very good with um, notifications. I will remind you on like Instagram and Twitter and the community tab as well, but just letting you know, it's gonna be Friday, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. We're doing a happy hour, we're doing a after work kind of a thing. Okay, let's talk about two things that are new that I actually have in my collection. I am going to scoochie scoochie a little bit to the side and I'm going to show you the thing that I got. Is this loose? I haven't even opened this one. I literally took it out of the box. I haven't opened it. No, it was just the card. Okay, so this is the Sigma new uh, loose powders. Maybe some, oh, it's the brush. <laughs> Oops, wait, 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 wait. So this is what it looks like. Usually Sigma boxes are pretty small, cardboard, easy to recycle. I like that they give you boxes because I, I understand that it's like, you know, a PR thing. They want to make it look nice and cute so you can take a cute picture. This is the first time I'm opening this box whatsoever. But I like that they're all cardboard so they're easy to recycle. There's no fuss about it. It's just put it in this recycling if you don't want to keep it. This is the Sigma Ready Set Perfection um, setting powders. These are $32 each. They're available in four shades. They are... Mm, mm, when are these coming? That's what I'm looking for. Are these available? August 2nd. August 2nd these are coming and I'm thinking that I am going to be this shade, right? Because I'm not, I'm not this shade, that's a little too light. I think I'm this shade and I think that this shade is maybe a little too dark. So I think I'm shade number two, which is the buttermilk. And then there is a honey cinnamon and the lightest one is vanilla bean. And I can see from just yeah, pulling it out, it has the same packaging Ooh, as their like illuminating powder that they released. So, and this was the lightest one. This was the vanilla bean. Let's see how the one that I think is going to be for me looks. <coughs> 
yeah, I think that this is going to be a good shade for me. Like I said, these are available at August 2nd on the Sigma website. I do have a code with Sigma. My code is Anjeshka and you can save 10% off. Sigma is also having a really, really good sale right now. So if you were looking to add some Sigma to your collection, I will leave a link to that down below as well. So you can check out the sale. Um, but yeah, I'll remind you about these when they are being released. I'm going to be trying them out as well. I have a couple of new things that I want to do. Because like I said, I'm trying to chill down a little bit. By the way, everything that I have on my face today, I will leave in a pinned comment. If you're wondering about my lashes, my lipstick, any of that, it's going to be in the pinned comment. And all the things that I'm talking about, including like as much information as I can gather with like codes and links and release dates, it's going to be in the description box. And I did buy this one because I wanted to film a like a testing new makeup. And honestly, I'm going to be honest with you. Usually when I get new stuff like this, I like I throw myself on them because I want to get something out as quick as possible. But I'm trying I'm trying to calm myself to just enjoy having a little bit of a slow time because usually fall is really crazy with like releases and like uploads and stuff. And this is the new Natasha Denona mini bronze palette. From what I gather, all of these shades are new, but then actually my friend Heather Austin said that this light one is a repeat shade. I'm not 100% sure which one that is. It's the one called Flesh. I think it's the one called, yeah, it's the one called Flesh. This one, I don't know which palette it's from. I do own most of the Natasha Nona palettes, but not all of them. So I was thinking I was going to do a like a trying new makeup because I did buy the Hourglass Foundation when that was released as well. I bought this mini palette and I also have that new cool liquid lipstick from Urban Decay and these powders. And I have a couple of things that I'm also like that are new, but that I'm in the process of reviewing that I can use in that video. So yeah, I'm excited to be filming that. I'm going to film that next week as well. Um, so I'll have that one plus to get ready with me talking about the new pupper that's sleeping here on the floor next to me. So I'll have that live next week. But this one is available both at the Natasha Nona website and at Sephora and in store in Sephora as well. So I will leave a link to this down below. And if you want to hear my thoughts on it, if I think that this is the normal Natasha Nona quality, I'm going to try and make my spin on this since it is an all neutral palette. And I'll have that live next week. I'm trying to not stress myself too much. It is okay if views are down. It is okay if I just chill a little bit because we all need a little breather. So let's see about some of these things that I haven't that I haven't tried or or bought. <laughs> let's talk about them. Let's talk about this one now because now we see the full collection. I have this one here somewhere. I think it's in my basket over here, but I'll put the picture here. This is the Ace Butte Palettopoly. 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 It's so hard to say that as a uh, having English as a second language. But this is the new collection from Ace Butte. Now we see all this stuff. If you're interested in this collection, if you want to see what this board game is all about, because this is a makeup collection and like game that you can play either by yourself or with friends all in one. And I will have the video linked down below where I am swatching this collection, playing the game so that you can see it and also getting a full look based on the game because it's a makeup challenge kind of a game. I'm so intrigued about this launch. I really like the the quality of these things per usual. HPT makes really, really good stuff. So if you want to see what this is all about, I will leave the link to this video down below. I also did a vlog where I went to this event and I put that vlog up on my vlog channel and I'll also leave a link to my vlog channel that's always down below together with my other socials like my my twitter and my instagram and my tiktok that's always in the description box plus a link to my merch store in case you're interested in that but if you want to see me meet the founder or the owner and you just want to see what the event was all about that is on my vlog channel i did upload that on i want to say tuesday I want to say Tuesday. This has been a week. Listen, this has been a week. But yeah, I'm excited about this. I cannot wait to, to play more with it, of course. I also wanted to let you know that the Cosmic Brushes Serenity palette that I also... Oh, I've been trying to clean my beauty room because I'm going to have the uh, my beauty room tour and putting it together. That video is also coming real soon because finally everything is done and I did put this palette away. But I did do a video on this as well and I will leave a link to that video as well down below. But this palette is restocking and it is restocking, I think, next week. Let me double check. Let me double check when it is restocking. It is restocking on July the 29th, 5 p.m. UK time, which is 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 11 a.m. Central Standard Time and 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will put the info about that down below. This is basically one of the most hyped palettes this year. She has not been able to keep this in stock. This is going to be the second or 
third second restock i think of this palette if you want to you can use my code and jessica and you can save 10 percent off this this collection and i am just super super excited my code and jessica also works at ace beauty by the way if you want to save 10 percent Try and Jeshka. I will have all my codes in the description box. But yeah, both at Ace Beauty and Cosmic Brushes, you can get 10% off if you use the code and Jeshka. But this palette is truly a stunning, high quality palette. And without giving too many spoilers towards my next um, rankings video that's coming real soon, where I'm ranking the things that I've been trying lately, this one is very high very high so yeah don't forget to snag this if you wanted to i will leave the info about the uh the restock down below because i know a bunch of you were interested in that give me glow beauty has shown now that there is a second palette releasing as well this is also i think on the 29th uh, yeah this is also on the 29th and they have before shown a, a palette that's like a blue green yellow thing and now they're also showing the second ninth life palette which is this beautiful yellow coral orange pink and this one is, again, some new shades and some uh, existing shades. And this one actually has two shades that I have been very close to buying from this brand, which is Going Bananas and Mango Margarita. <sighs> am I going to have to buy two of them? Like, am I going to have to buy both of them? I feel like I have a cat here, hair here. Oh, my God. Do you really? I, I have asked you so many times. So the new shades are Ray Princess, I'm with the DJ, coming to the stage, uh, 21 and up, and place your best. <sighs> and place your bets. Oh, I think they mispronounced in the... Give me go if you're watching this, you, you have a spelling error. <laughs> I have a spelling error, but yeah, I'm, a, I'm intrigued, uh, I'm very intrigued, um, this might be actually my first purchase from Gimme Glow, because I really like how this is looking, and yeah, I think I will be getting this. There is also a, this is a re-release, and this is from Unearthly Cosmetics, Unearthly Cosmetics did change manufacturer, so that she was able to be more precise with the formulations and be able to have a better formulation and with that she has re-released some of her palettes in this new formulation and with new packaging and just you know to make it all look the same and this is the re-release of the bunnies palette which she released last easter and now it is re-released and this artwork is by miss up ac which is someone that she's worked with before to create some uh, covers for her palettes i always think that she has some really good cover arts and this is uh, already available and you can use the code and you should get to get 10 percent off this palette is out for delivery so this one is heading my way i feel like this is such a nice pastel palette with a twist because they're not all pastel there's a couple of pastels a couple of a little bit more on the not deeper but more jewel tones and there is a good mix of mattes and shimmers because i think it is a 50 50 ratio so i'm super excited to be trying this i don't own the original one of these so i'm very excited to be owning this one and she also did restock a couple of palettes uh, earlier this week when she was uh, launching this one so do check her site if there was something that you were wanting that was out of stock but yeah i'm excited to be trying this one out like i said i didn't uh, try the other one i will leave some info about that one as well down below fenty has released new shades of the match sticks i never tried these because i heard such mixed reviews be honest with me besties are these good or bad are these good or bad because the only reason why i didn't try them is because i heard mixed reviews but i mean since she's coming up with more shades i feel like the consensus should be that they're pretty good and selling good because she's coming up with quite a bunch of shades it's 10 new shades so it is a couple of corrector shades there's a couple of more contour shades and then there is three highlighter shades i think are these good be honest with me am i missing out i don't know these are available on july 22nd with is today that which is the day that you're watching this okay on friday <laughs> ah, i lost all all sense of time tower 28 is also coming out with two new shades well it's one new shade that they're releasing both in the lip gloss and in the blush formula and this is called mauve and this is a mauve shade that is called 
sesame in the je lip jelly and it's called office hours in the tinted balm the lip jelly is a really really nice formula uh, unfortunately it's a formula that goes bad pretty quickly so i've actually decluttered mine because they started smelling very funky uh, the tinted balm was not my favorite formula but i know a lot of people love this formula because it is very hydrating and it's creamy and it's, it is easy to blend but for me it stays sticky it stays tacky on the skin and i can't deal with with that i call it fly paper makeup i cannot be attracting bugs like that i can't deal with that but if you like a formula like that that doesn't 100 percent set down maybe you have really dry skin you probably really enjoy this because i know a lot of people with dry skin that really loves this formula it's just not 100 percent for me i'm fairly sure that these are already available i will link them down below kyla cosmetics has come up with some new shades as well and this is in her matte liquid lipsticks there are uh, six new shades uh, they seem all to be fairly peachy pinky nudey. I will say that I think that all of these shades look really nice. It's nothing like groundbreaking, but I feel like I think that most people wear shades like this on a daily basis. I mean, even I, if I'm going to wear a lipstick, it's usually something that's a little nude leaning. I usually go for more a brown nude something that's a little bit more like this um if i'm wearing no eye makeup i'll usually do a little bit more of a poppy lip but i think that these are shades that probably are going to sell well within her line i feel like these are shades that mo most people i say but like a lot of people really like and prefer another range that now has more colors is the juvia's place blush duos they have released uh, more shades i think they only had volume one and volume two before but now they have three four five six and these are $16 each, but you can get a discount. You can get 10% off with my code Angelica. At Juvia's Place, my code is Angelica, and then you will get some dollars off. The number six is an orange blush. It is a matte bright orange, and then a pastel orange with shimmer. How am I gonna, like, I, I don't know how I'm supposed to resist that. <laughs> I will say, I think the new shades look really nice and I f really feel like they complement the range. There is like pinks, which they didn't really have before. It is a more dark one, a more red one, and then this orange. And I'm just, the orange looks so cute. The orange looks so cute. These are available now. I will link them down below. Here's something that I'm really intrigued by. And I actually got in the mail about this and Ricardo was like, what is this? What is this? And because it was about the new AF95, which is the drugstore uh, sister brand to About Face. About Face is like a mid-range brand, maybe a little bit more on the more affordable side. But this is meant to be a really affordable brand, and it's sold, for example, at Walmart. And they are six to ten dollars each, which is a really affordable range when it comes to makeup, especially in the especially in this day and age in this economy yes that is fairly affordable and there's a bunch of different things and they're made to be I she marketed this to be like more a playful like no rules have fun kind of a brand and that's everything that's all that I'm about but I am thinking because I got this mail like would you call it like just a a basically just a postcard from this brand saying what is af94 check it out now at this website and i'm thinking the reason why i got that postcard is because i am on the about face pr list so i don't know if i'm being sent this in pr or not i really do want to try this out but like i told you right now i'm trying to just scale back a little bit and just chill a little bit and not overwork myself i don't want to have a million videos a week i don't want to be like working late nights or working weekends just for a little bit during the summer so that i can recharge my batteries so had it not been for that i probably would have rushed to walmart to try this out because i actually really like the whole thing around about face and i think about face has some really good products as well so if i'm being sent this in pr which i don't think i mean this is a different brand i'll definitely try it out sooner rather than later but if i'm not being sent to this pr i will still try it out but just not initially because i i like i said i i want to film this video and i also have two other packages coming in i don't want to overwork myself but i do think it sounds really interesting and i 
do you think now that like prices of more affordable brands are also creeping up there i don't think it's a bad idea to have another more affordable brand to choose from especially one that has a more playful approach to makeup because I, I do think that that is needed. Sydney Grish usually has a like a Christmas in July sale and usually have some new releases as well when that comes. And they are releasing two palettes, the California Coast and the Mountain Trail. I'm fairly sure that the Mountain Trail is a bundle that they had before with singles that are now in a palette form. I really like the covers of these. I think the covers are beautiful and I'm fairly sure that they usually have a light version and a dark version and I'm sure that you can get both of these palettes in a light or a dark version. Yeah. Yeah, they both come in a light and a dark. I could have just read the text. Dum dum. Um, the Christmas in July sale launches on the 25th of July. And if you make a purchase of seven, uh, $70 or more, you will get the California Coast palette for free. Okay. Okay. So yeah, I will link it down below. Now there's another dog sighing here. <laughs> Are you bored, baby? I'm sorry. Melt has come up with more shades of the blushes. I feel like, and this is something that I, I like this. I like this a lot. When brands have a formula that's really good and they release some more shades to the line, I really like that. I really like that. So Melt released two new blush lights and these are pink shades. A lighter one and a darker one. I think that's really smart because all of their blush lights from before were leaning a little bit more on the peachy, orangey brown side, which is something that I like. But I realize it's not for everyone. This is available now. I will link it down below. It's not for me. I don't mind a pink cheek, but I'm not going out of my way to buy pink blushes. I still think it's pretty cute though. This is something that I... Th when was the last time that you were excited about a Laura Geller product? Be honest with me. Be honest with me. When was the last time that that happened? Because I can tell you right now, it was probably five, six years ago for me. For me. But this one, the Serum Blush Cheek, it looks good. It looks good. It comes in two shades, Practical Pink and Poppy Peach. I think it's cute. It includes one replacement sponge applicator. That's amazing. So yeah, I'm, uh, I'm intrigued by this. I think it looks cute. Are you intrigued? Oh, let's talk about Colourpop. Let's go into the weekly Colourpop segment. I think that this is a collection that a lot of neutral lovers probably will really enjoy because it's the Clay It Cool collection. And this is a more clay, like, you know, that terracotta reddish, what a terracotta clay. You get it. You get it like a brick red. And I actually don't hate the look of this neutral palette, even though I don't, I just bought this one. I don't need another neutral palette. But I think it's really cool and it, it is in that format where it has one cream shade that's meant to be like a, a primer or something to make your eyeshadow stick more, which I think is cool. I'm not getting this though. There is a highlighter from the Soul Body line, which is those highlighters that have that yummy scent that I love. Then there are some, um, oh, actually I'm wearing one of the uh, blotted lips today. I'm wearing it under a lip oil to see how I like them with a little bit of hydration on top because for me, I think that these are a little too dusty on my lips. I prefer something that's a little bit more on the, I just feel like these are dry on my lips. I don't mind the dry lipstick, but I feel like these are dry on my lips. And I'm wearing the one in on film, but they're releasing more shades for this collection. They're a little bit more on the reddish brown terracotta brick side. Then they're releasing Super Shock bronzers. They have had Super Shock bronzers from before, but for some reason, they disc I think the reason they discontinued it is because I don't think the bronzers from before was as good formulated as their Super Shocks, the other Super Shocks are. But with time, they've been able to really perfect the matte Super so Shock formula for cheeks, like the Super Shock cheeks, the matte ones, they are really nice. And I think that's why they probably brought the Super Shock bronzers back. I think this is a better time to release them. People are more into cream products, cream to powder, putty, things for the cheeks, even with like bronzers and blushes. And also I think that they have perfected their formula even more. So they're bringing them back and I'm bringing them back in six shades. I think that they probably could have done a couple of more shades, but on the other hand, shade ranges when it comes to bronzers, I've said it before, the bar is in hell. 
the bar is in hell. So I think to compare to some brands that release one or two or three, six is amazing. So I, I, I will give them that. I will give them that. This is something that I am interested in. And since this is not in some special packaging, I'm thinking that these bronzers are probably part of the permanent line because they're just in the normal white super shock chic packaging um they are eight dollars each they are available as you're watching this i will link them down below colourpop did contact me and ask me if i wanted to be a part of their affiliate program and i'm hoping that that means that i'll be able to be back on the pr list for one reason or another i was taken off the pr list for a bit but if I have been given my code as I am editing this, because as I'm filming this, I have been accepted to the affiliate program, but I've not been given my code. But if I have my code, I will either pop it up here or I will put it in the description box, depending on when I get it. But if you use my code, thank you so much for supporting my channel. It really does help out when you use my codes and when you use my links. And this is a like a trial period. So they are basically seeing how my code goes. Uh, I'm guessing that's going to determine if I'm staying on the PR list and in the affiliate program, yes or no. So if you are interested in Colourpop and if you do you shop from their site, it really does help out if you use my code, if you want to. And if you don't want to, that's totally fine too. I'm just letting you know, letting you know how things are. There is some new brow products from Patrick. Can Patrick Todd just get that thing like the, the, the lamination gel back to Sephora? Please and thank you. It's been out of stock for a really long time and I miss it. <laughs> I've been out of it for, I want to say a month and a half and it's been a really tough time, yeah. It's been a really hard, <laughs> trying time. No, but honestly, I miss it so much. I wish it would come back in stock. Listen, I'm happy, brow pencils, yay. Don't care about that. Give me the brow lamination back, okay? C come back in stock at Sephora so I can buy it. But this is the major brow defining pencil. I'm sure it's great. It's not for me. I have a bunch of brow products that I'm using, but can I get the, the, the lamination gel back? There's a new face palette from Artist Couture. I still have not tried anything Artist Couture, but this is another face palette. I think they had one, was it last year? I think they had one last year. This is $34. It is available now and it looks cute. Oh, it's called volume three. So I'm guessing this is the third one then. Captain Obvious, to the rescue. Uh, it looks cute, and this looks like the kind of colors that I would like, which is the peachy brown. I like that for the cheeks. I like that for the cheeks. What am I wearing today on my cheeks? I'm actually we oh, I'm wearing the Benefit Willa for the first time, which is like a, actually like a browny clay, almost mauve color. That's what's on my cheeks today. But I like those kind of colors. I like either oranges, or more on the brownie side, but I like them to be warmer over colder, cooler. In Sweden you would say that, but that's just my preference. There is a new perfume coming from Marc Jacobs, another uh, version of the Daisy perfume. I'm, I'm thinking Daisy is probably 95% of the revenue at, over at Marc Jacobs as a whole, if I'm, I'm, if I'm gonna be guessing. And this is the Daisy Ever So Fresh of the Parfum. And this is a bouquet of juicy citrus notes that captures the whimsical feeling of dappled sunshine, airy, yet energetic and warm. And it is a mandarin mango pineapple with the heart notes of rose water, orange blossom essence, and base notes are cashmere woods. I I have not fallen in love with any of the Daisy scents because they are just too sweet for me. And some of them have been sweet yet florally and it, it's called Daisy, it's, it's got flowers on it. Listen, I get it, it's not meant for me. But this one is described more as a, because I like fruity scents. I like sweet fruity scents, I just don't like sweet floral scents. So I'm thinking that this might actually be for me. I wanna, what I said I was gonna taste, I don't wanna taste it. I wanna sniff it. I wanna sniff it. So I feel like I'm putting this in the I am intrigued. Maybe I will actually enjoy it because I like a fruity scent. But I also know that Daisy is known for being extremely sweet. So maybe it will be too sweet for me. I'm not 100% sure. It is, it is already available in Europe and it's coming soon to other places. 
If I can find it, I'll link it down below. Oh, I want to talk about this new Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serum in from Makeup by Mario. He's come out with a new shade. Again, people are expanding all their shades. I like it. This is in Pink Glow, which is a clear pale pink. I'm not about the pale... I'm not about the pale pink lips life. It's not my journey, it's not the road I'm on. So I'm hoping that he will come out with more shades like this. It's not pink, maybe an orange. <laughs> I'm so predictable, I'm so, pre I'm sorry, am I? I don't know, but pale pink, not for me. But if this was something that you were looking forward to, it is available. It is available. Let's end with this one because I feel like this is a, a little bit of an interesting release. And this is from Laura Mercier. And this is the Petal Soft Lipstick Crayon. This is available now. I will link it down below. This is a, a 12 hour weightless wear and a 24 hour of hydration. This is a, a $28 crayon. It comes in 12 shades and it is a sheer formula. And I don't mind lipstick crayons coming back. I, I I don't hate if something like that was to come back because I actually like, I had some of those Clinique ones. I actually like them and I used them a lot back in the days when they were popular. I feel like I was so predictable in my makeup back in the days. Oh my Lord. Do you hear her snoring? You're snoring like a man, sweetie. Snoring like a man. But yeah, I could, I could be on board. I feel like this is one of those releases. Do you have that? Like, I have a couple of brands, like, when they release something, I'll buy it online. I don't need to see it in store. I'll just buy it. I feel like I have a couple of things where I'm like, oh, I'm going to look at that when I'm in store. This is definitely one of these. Next time I'm in store and I see a Laura Mercier, I'm going to go there and I'm going to see this. Because I want to see what this is about. I feel like it sounds intriguing is that the last thing i'm going to talk about oh quickly 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 bk beauty brushes has come out with a brush bundle together with neat wait let me need to need to josh need to josh i'm so sorry need to josh and she does bridal hair and makeup she is based out of california and she has done a bundle together with bk beauty which is six bk beauty brushes that she uses to enhance natural beauty and let inner beauty shine which is not necessarily my makeup aesthetics i'm all about the runaway circus clown but i still think that these brushes look good and i love bk beauty brushes they are really good and i can see a couple of my favorites even in her bundle here so i will link that down below as well congratulations to having a bundle with bk beauty that is absolutely amazing i wanted to mention that before we go okay i don't know if today's episode was longer or shorter i am sweating i am sweating i hope you're having an absolutely amazing day don't forget to tune in on the live later today at 6 p.m central standard time if you are a member tier 2 or tier 3 and yeah check the pinned comment and the description box for more info links codes release dates all of that and i will see you again well either in the live later today or monday monday for a new video i hope you're having an amazing weekend and i will see you then bye